Hello guys, today I'm gonna tell you guys how to use my Hotbox Creator plugin. So here you can see a lot of settings, but let's ignore them for now. All we need to care about is the Hotbox setup parameter. So let's double click on this. What I'm gonna create now is a Hotbar with six slots on one row. So that means what you have to do is to write one comma and six. That means one row and six columns. That's pretty much how you set up the layout. So now let's create six slots. I'm gonna name this slot one, but you can name it whatever you like. We don't need to care about the button. With that, we'll finish one slot. Now we need to duplicate this six times and change the name to slot one, two, three, four, Yada yada. Now when you run the game, you should see six empty slots that you can use right now. So now I'm gonna put random item into these slots. And as you can see, they're in the slots. But obviously we need more than just icons in the slots, right? we need input checking. And for that, we need to create a conditional branch that check like if player press button one, then it will do something. You can do whatever you want in the conditional branch, but for me, I'm gonna call a blocking command. This command basically just consume whatever is in a slot. Because we have six slots, we need six conditional branch which I already created here. Now let's test the game. What we should expect to see now is when we press a button, it should consume the item within that slot. Well, you know what I mean. And as you can see, it's working. Now, let's make it compatible with GamePad. For GamePad, it's even easier Let's open the hotbar we just created and check controllable via gamepad. Yeah, make it true, make it on. What this does is when you connect the game with a gamepad and you press any button, you can move between the slots using the pad buttons. But that obviously isn't enough. We need a button to trigger whatever is selected. I'm gonna create a conditional branch with to check if the button RB is triggered, then we'll call this plugin command, which is to consume whatever is within the slot that has been selected. Now let's test the game. Firstly, I'm going to equip a bunch of items again. Then I'm going to connect the gamepad. The moment you connect the gamepad, you see that you can select between the slots using the pad. And when you press RB, you consume whatever you are selecting. Here I have a different hotbar, which is inspired by Elden Ring. And when I press Q, which is LB in gamepad, you say I'm using a short sword. You can map any keyboard button to any gamepad button. It only takes you one step. Let's open the slot that you set up. Then you should see a section called button. The left one is to mapping the keyboard button to this slot and the right one is for gamepad. So basically when you create a conditional brand to check Q button being pressed, on gamepad you understand as LB button because we just map Q to LB. That's the basic of this plugin. For more info, you can uh, check out the demo or read the manual, which has a lot more conditional branch for you to use. If you have any question, feel free to leave me a message and I'll respond pretty quickly. Have a nice day.